Imagine opening your computer in the morning, taking that first sip of coffee, and being greeted not by a generic login screen, but by a desktop that feels like it was handcrafted just for you. A workspace that fits your mind, your workflow, and your personality. Today we're talking about how Linux allows you to create that dream desktop. Something Mac OS can't match with its rigid structure and limited customization options. This isn't just about changing colors or icons, this is about truly owning your digital environment in a way that makes every session feel like a breath of fresh air. Let's start by painting a picture on Mac OS. Yeah. You get a beautifully designed desktop with a dock, a menu bar, and system animations that are polished and consistent. That's great if you want simplicity with style out of the box. But what if you want more than great? What if you want a desktop that works the way you think, moves the way you move, and feels like an extension of your own creativity. That's where Linux shines, and today we're going to explore all the reasons why. Customization on Linux isn't superficial. On many other operating systems, customization is essentially choosing a theme and a wallpaper. On Linux, it's a deep, meaningful transformation of your digital workspace. You can control how windows behave, how workspaces function, how notifications appear, how your system performs, and even how it sounds. You can build something elegant, minimalistic, powerful, playful, or even futuristic. The choice is truly yours. Let's dive into the core philosophy of Linux customization. Linux is open source. It means anyone can look at the code, modify it, and redistribute it. This foundational principle empowers developers and users alike. On Mac OS, you're using software built by Apple with a limited set of customizable options. You can't change how the system fundamentally works. With Linux, you can. You can swap out components, replace entire desktop environments, redefine interactions, nothing is off limits. Now you might be thinking, okay, that sounds amazing, but where do I even begin? The answer is with desktop environments. These are collections of software that define how your desktop looks and feels. On Mac OS, you're stuck with one. On Linux, you have dozens to choose from. GNOME, KDE Plasma, XFCE, Cinnamon, Mate, Budgie, i3, AwesomeWM, Swatha, list goes on and on. Each one has a distinct philosophy and level of customization. GNOME, for example, is sleek and modern. It's minimalist by design, but you can extend it with extensions that add features like desktop icons, custom panels, workspace behavior, application menus, and more. KDE Plasma, on the other hand, is like the ultimate playground for customization. Want your taskbar at the top? You got it. Want widgets like clocks, whether CPU monitors scattered around? All possible. Want animations on window minimize or click effects? KDE makes it easy. Then there are tiling window managers like i3 and Sway. These are for power users who want keyboard-driven control and dynamic window management. No mouse needed. The workspace is laid out like a grid that you control with keys and it adapts to your workflow. Imagine never having to drag windows with your mouse again, just snap them into place with lightning speed. And here's where Linux begins to pull away from macOS in a meaningful way. On macOS, you get a single layout philosophy, a dock at the bottom, floating windows, and workspaces called spaces. You can rearrange a few things, but the core behavior is fixed. On Linux, you can have floating windows, tiling windows, or a hybrid system. You can switch between these anytime. You can even run multiple behaviors simultaneously across different monitors. Let's talk about customization at the level of themes and looks. Mac OS has a light and dark mode and a few accent colors. Linux has an entire universe. GTK and QT theming systems allow the community to create thousands of unique themes. You can make your desktop look like Mac OS, like Windows, like a sci-fi movie console, like an 8-bit retro, UI literally anything. And it's not just superficial borders and colors. You can adjust icon styles, mouse cursor designs, fonts, UI spacing, animation speed, all of it. But Linux doesn't stop at what's visible. You can customize behaviors too. Let's say you want a keyboard shortcut to magically resize windows, switch workspaces, and launch apps all at once. That's possible with Linux. You can bind scripts to shortcuts, Create complex automation workflows and tie everything into your desktop environment so your computer starts to anticipate your needs. Mac OS has shortcuts and some automation, but it's limited and often brittle. 
on Linux, automation becomes part of your desktop, not an afterthought. Even deeper customization comes with the shell itself, the command line. Linux is built around the shell. You can choose Bash, ZSH, Fish, or others. Each shell can be themed, extended, enhanced with plugins. Your terminal can be a lovely part of your desktop experience, or the heart of your workflow, if you're a terminal devotee. You can have prompt colors change based on Git branch, show system stats in your prompt autocomplete like a superpower, and launch apps before you finish typing their names. Try doing that on Mac OS without hacks. Let's shift gears and talk about widgets and desktop overlays. These are little elements that live on your desktop and show information like weather, CPU usage, music controls, calendars, reminders, even fancy system visuals. KDA Plasma's widget ecosystem is massive. You can drag, drop, resize, and configure to your heart's content. Ubuntu's GNOME has extensions that do similar things. Want a floating music control that appears only when music is playing? No problem. Want a digital clock that looks like a steampunk gear assembly? Can find one or make one yourself? Now I want to slow down for a second and emphasize how important community is in this story. Mako's customization is controlled by Apple and a handful of app developers. Linux customization is shaped by thousands of contributors around the world, all sharing their themes, configurations, scripts, and ideas. If you want something new, you don't have to wait for a corporation to build it too, or someone in the community can build it now. This leads to innovations that are rapid, diverse, and unexpected. And because of that community, there's an abundance of tools that help you create your dream desktop with ease. Tools like KDEs, system settings, GNOME tweaks, and extension managers make it simple to browse, install, and manage customizations. Even on more minimalist setups, you can use GUS, or text files, your choice. Everything is transparent, editable, and free. Speaking of free, Linux customization won't cost you extra. On Mac OS, if you want certain utilities or themes, you often have to pay or subscribe. On Linux, almost everything is free and open source. You want a fancy dock, a tiling window manager, complete transformation of your UI, it's all free. You don't pay for themes, you don't pay for extensions, you don't pay to unlock hidden features. You might choose to donate to developers you love, but that's your choice, not a requirement. Now, let's talk workflow and productivity enhancements. Customization isn't just about looks, it's about doing more. On Linux, you can assign apps to specific workspaces. Create rules for how windows open and where they go. Define hotkeys that launch sequences of apps. Even integrate productivity tools directly into the desktop. Want a sticky notes widget that syncs with your notes app? Want scratch pads that pop up when you press a key? Want specific workspaces to behave differently? One for creative work? One for communication? All of that is possible and usually intuitive. Contrast that with Mac OS, where you can assign apps to desktops and create spaces, but the level of control is limited. You cannot make conditional rules, you cannot tile windows natively without third-party tools, and automation is sandboxed. Linux gives you the reins, you control the rules. And speaking of rules, let's discuss accessibility and adaptability. On Linux, if you have special needs visual motor, Cognitive View can customize the interface to support you better. You can make fonts huge, controls easier to reach, keyboard navigation ultra strong, sound cues more pronounced and visual layouts completely adjusted. Mac OS has accessibility features, but because the UI is fixed by Apple's design choices, there are limits to how far you can adapt it. On Linux, you can reshape the environment to your needs. Another major advantage is performance customization. On Linux, not only can you customize how your desktop looks and acts, you can control how your system runs. Ouch. You can choose lightweight environments for older hardware or powerful compositing for high-end machines. Ouch. You can trim services, adjust resource usage, and make the system feel snappy at every level. On Mac OS, performance tuning is mostly hidden. You have less control and fewer options. Let's not forget about multi-monitor setups. Sure, Mac OS supports multiple displays, but many users find the default behaviors limiting. Want different panels on each screen? Want unique layouts per display? Want to snap windows to specific zones? Linux has tools like Quinn 4K DE GNOME multi-monitor tweaks, 
and external tools like Xrander and Wayland protocols that give you precise control. You can even script monitor configurations so they change automatically when you dock or undock your laptop. And if you're someone who loves experimentation, Linux is a playground. You can test new desktop environments, switch between compositing engines, try alternative shells, run beta features, and reset to your previous setup if you decide you don't like a change. This freedom to experiment without fear is immensely powerful. Too many people on macOS stick with the default because change feels risky. On Linux, change is the culture. But building your dream desktop on Linux isn't just about tools, it's about expression. Your computer becomes more than a device. It becomes a reflection of your creativity. You can make it calm and minimal, or bold and energetic. You can make it functional and serious, or playful and fun. And the best part? Others in the community will help you realize your vision. You'll find themes, icon packs, scripts, and ideas that spark your imagination. Now I want to take a moment to dispel a common myth that Linux customization is too technical. Yes, Linux is powerful. But power doesn't have to mean complexity. There are distributions and tools designed to make customization accessible even for beginners. Ubuntu, Fedora, Linux, Mint, and Pop. Underscore OS provide user-friendly ways to tweak your desktop. Tools like GNOME extensions and KDE Store let you browse and install custom elements with a few clicks. You don't need to write code to make your desktop amazing, but if you want to write code, Linux lets you go there too. For those who love deep customization, there are magnificent workflows waiting. Imagine a wallpaper that changes based on the time of day, combined with a taskbar that shows your calendar events only when you have meetings, combined with hotkeys that launch nested workflows. Or imagine a floating console that appears when you press a key, dropping you into a shell that lets you control music, network, and project files instantly. These aren't fantasies. They are setups that Linux users build every day. And then there's the world of scripts. It's bash. Python, Louis scripts that bind into your desktop to automate tasks. Want your system to dim the lights and open your music app when you start relaxing for the evening? You can script it. Out. Want notifications read aloud if they're marked important? You can script it. Want random wallpapers from your favorite artist collection to change every hour? You can script it. Ow. On Mac OS, scripting exists, but it's constrained by sandboxing and limited APIs. On Linux, your creativity is the boundary. Let's talk about the community ecosystem one more time because it's truly remarkable. There are forums, Reddit communities, Discord servers, YouTube channels, and GitHub repositories where people share their desktop setups. You can find inspiration from others, remix their configurations, and contribute back. If you want a layout you saw in a video, there's a good chance someone has already shared the config files. This collaborative culture accelerates innovation and provides an endless source of ideas. And while we celebrate Linux's flexibility, let's also acknowledge that customization isn't just for show. It can improve your workflow. A well-crafted desktop can reduce distractions, streamline your tasks, and create visual clarity that helps you focus. It's not about making your desktop look like a screenshot, it's about making it work for you. That's the heart of Linux customization, Shape your computer so it supports your goals, habits, and creativity. Contrast that with Mac OS, where the environment is static by design. Apple prioritizes consistency and simplicity, which has benefits, especially for users who don't want to think about customization. But that same consistency becomes a limitation for power users who want their workspace to evolve with them. If you want a desktop that molds itself to your thinking style, your work patterns, and even your personality, Linux is the better choice. As we draw toward the end of this journey, I want you to imagine something. Picture a workspace that feels like it was designed by you, a place where every corner has a purpose, every animation feels intentional, every shortcut is effortless. Picture a desktop that doesn't just serve you, but inspires you. That's the promise of Linux customization. So if you're tired of one-size-fits-all desktops and craving something uniquely yours, if you're ready to explore your creativity and build a workspace that energizes rather than restrains, then Linux customization is waiting for you. Start small, change a theme, add a widget, tweak a panel, then go further experiment with a new desktop environment, learn a bit of scripting, join a community. Your dream desktop isn't a destination, 
It's a journey. And that journey begins with the freedom to create without limits. Linux doesn't just give you tools, it gives you the freedom to imagine what your workspace can be and the power to make it real. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Linux customization and want more guides, tools, and examples to help you build your dream desktop, stick around, we've got a lot more coming. Till next time, happy customizing.